Hello everyone, it's Fiona from Fiona's Angel Wisdom page. Nice to see you here today, or nice to know that you're going to be listening to this. And um, yeah, it's Friday again, and um, I hope that you all have or have had a wonderful weekend, depending on when you're listening to this. Um, as per usual, I'm just going to pull a card to kick, kick off the um, Angel Wisdom news. Um, and I'm going to do that with um, Mary Jack's A Pocket Full of Angel Cards. And the card is, stop worrying. Your angels don't worry about you. They simply believe in your strengths and abilities and ask you to do the same about both yourself and other people too. Take a step back and ask the angels to take care of you, the person, situation you are worrying about, and then resolve to turn your mind to other stress-free thoughts and activities. Think and act with a positive outlook. Believe that the angels will look after everything for you and enjoy the renewed inner calm those actions will bring. So I think that's a nice serene um, card that basically tells us that stressing doesn't really do us any good and worrying doesn't do us any good. Um, so with, with that we then surrender and release the worries and the fears and the uncertainties to the angels or whoever it is that you believe in and let it all go and focus on the now and focus on happiness and any thoughts um, that you have to send out there send them out with love and if you have problems with friends or friendships um, that are not working right now try and come from a place of love when you contemplate those things um, and also or situations and also um, try writing a letter to the per person or people that you are worried about or not talking to anymore or where there's ill feelings and then safely burn the letter um, and send it up to the heavens and always you know wish the other person well if possible um, the more that you come from a place of light and love the the better it is um, right so now as per usual I've gotten used to this now I'm gonna just randomly open the Crystal Bible, Volume 2 by Judy Hall, and see what um, crystal I come up with. So, here we go. Quartz, the Brandenburg, a natural point. The colour is clear, purple, smoky brown, yellow. Appearance, bl bright, clear point, with phantoms or bubbles included. Rarity, becoming more available, but rising in price. Source, Namibia. Attributes. Brandenburg has an exceedingly high vibration, a powerful stone for, for spiritual alchemy. Um, it connects to the immensity of your spiritual being and all that it, that it is. Attuned to the white flame of pure consciousness and emanating infinite compassion. This stone is perfect for deep soul healing and forgiveness work. There you go, perfect. Go with that card there. Stop worrying and forgiveness and, and all that. Um, spiritually, an effective aid to work on all levels, rapidly linking to the multi dimensions. This stone assists in looking inward or climbing the vibrational ladder to other dimensions. Brandenburg attaches the cosmic anchor deep in the earth and at the centre of the galaxy, ensuring an inner core energetic solidity no matter what changes occur, facilitating an objective viewpoint. It is useful when travelling to dimensions of which you could not otherwise retain consciousness awareness. This stone instills brainwave combinations to enhance meditation, regression and healing. Although hugely versatile, a hugely versatile crystal, as each one carries the resonance of clear, smoky, amethyst vibrations, more than any other stone, Brandenburgs are person-specific and task-related. When you find your particular stone, you know you may need several. As one could be attuned to earth healing, another to soul or karmic healing, and so on. There are Brandenburgs that do everything and they may be tiny or huge. Size has no relevance. It is the resonance that counts. Call your Brandenburg to you in spiritual dimension before seeking the physical stone. This stone 
is a gatekeeper to protect against psychic attack and alien invasion and repels negative energy calling in positive light it holds a light when working in shadows or underworld especially during soul and child parts retrieval and facilitates purification and integration of those parts in your present self place on the soma soul star or stellar gateway chakras brandenburg attunement attunes to your core spiritual identity facilitating true self-reflection and consciousness act activation on the heart seed chakra it assists travel to the between life state to ascertain your soul plan for the current lifetime identifying forks in the road where a conscious choice was needed it shows how to return to to your original soul plan if you have deviated um, and how to release overgrown soul imperatives on the past life chakra Brandenburg heals the imprints and effects of trauma in previous lives no matter in what dimension those lives were lived on the third eye this stone removes blockages to spiritual psychic sight and accesses guidance from the purest source Brandenburg works by restoring to its perfect energetic state and ether blue, ether, etheric blueprint from which your physical body was formed by taking it's back to the highest vibration and attuning to all that is the original perfect blueprint before time began the healing often instantaneous and profound filters into the mental and psychological and emotional and physical bodies restoring balance on all levels a Brandenburg clears the higher heart chakra and opens the throat so that spiritual spiritual truth is spoken with unconditional love and compassion it quickly disconnects the previously made mystic marriage or any relationship that has resulted in intertwining at a high at the higher chakras physically this stone accelerates convalescence and restores vitality by taking you to the most perfect energetic state possible healing a master healer that supports recovery from illness and depletion and restores vitality helpful for concussion and immune deficiencies chronic fatigue limbic brain function and multi-dimensional cellular memory healing it also ameliorate whatever dental pain i suppose it alleviates dental pain whatever <laughs> sorry my english is really not that good <laughs> position place or hold as appropriate specific colors right i'm not going to go into the specific colors otherwise we're going to be here until um, next week <laughs> anyway so I, I do believe that the Brandenburg stone seems to be a good one to have now moving swiftly on I asked Rebecca from Rebecca's intuitive readings if she would have a message for the people that listen to um, Angel Wisdom News and she came along and she wrote this for us hello the fairy message is what was stuck will become unstuck Dreams and desires will become clearer and may even surprise you with the, the direction they take. In the words of Brain Froud, the fairies artist, and the fairies, uh, the fairies hide what you want to reveal what and what you want, and what and reveal what you need. There you go. I'm really rubbish at reading today. Sorry. This is a time of growth, joy, exhilaration. Embrace your inner child and go with the flow. Wisdom and clarity is on its way. There you go. So that's sort of all keeping in line. Let's see what um, Tony Carmine Salerno's cards have got to say for the week ahead. Did you all enjoy that beautiful moon at the, at the weekend? That super moon. It was so beautiful and calming and relaxing. And the healing that took place overnight is phenomenal. And there I'm going to pull three cards like I did last time. Um, okay, so let's do Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We have the Goddess of Shadows. And this is the um, Angel Gods and Goddesses cards by Tony Carmine Salerno. Um, so Goddess of Shadows. She's um, 
it's a it's a beautiful lady who's um surrounded she's got all her chakra colors and she's got i think it looks like a snake wrapped around her but that's healing um but she's also got a tree um around her and she's got a golden glow around her head and fire around her lower regions and fire on her crown chakra um what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure so that sounds quite cool doesn't it to have a hidden treasure in our dark side i think goddess of the shadows unfortunate there she is realize that any perception or belief you have about yourself or others is actually a deception more than it is a perception what you perceive to be your dark side or shadow self holds a hidden treasure. As humans, we rarely see the full picture in any situation because we are forever stuck in the illusion of good and bad. You judge your positive and negative qualities and strive to be more of what you perceive to be positive while attempting to disown or neglect those aspects which you consider to be negative. By holding this belief, you fail to realise that all serves a purpose and that all benefits you in some way. Everything in our world is made up of a positive and negative charges, which together make a whole, which is true. You have to have balance. You have to have the good and the bad and the rough and the smooth and the happy and the unhappy times to, to be appreciative in it anyway. Um, you're guide, you're guided, you have been guided to choose this card by your soul because you are ready to move to the next level of conscious awareness over the coming months you will find yourself questioning many of your long-held beliefs and you will realize that many of them are simply illusion that only serve to keep you feeling small inadequate or restricted this card heralds the start of a wondrous and empowering period of your life which brings to the surface many beautiful experiences and opportunities which in the past you never thought possible now there you go see I think there's a stop worrying because obviously with this ascension going on and people going through major changes and letting go of old patterns there's a lot of worry going on so we had the stop worrying then we had um, the crystal that was kind of transmuting all the negativity and bring us bringing the soul back up to to, to speed with what's in what, what its purpose was in the first place and then you have the goddess of, of, of um, the shadows that comes along and says you know it, it, all is good even your bad sides are good and, and they serve a purpose and um so i'm guessing that if you're doubting yourself um work with archangel zadkiel and work with archangel gabriel because archangel zadkiel will come along and transmute negative um emotions and thought patterns and release them and and archangel gabriel will help with the communication, the education, the re-education and the family situation if there's problems in that or even if you need your family to understand or give understanding or you may need to understand your family that you know sometimes things don't work out the way that we want them to or relationships aren't as they should be or as we perceive they should be but um, sometimes it's part of the life that um, we were meant to live um, and and the more we fight it the harder it is the more that we just go with it and see what happens the easier that becomes and try and view that with a from a place of love so there's clearing going on um, understanding and I think that card will just also reach in, into the next couple of months um, I'm being given a six in this next six months so taking us to November which is also in time for 12 12 12 um, yeah right so when uh, Monday and Tuesday we have the Angel of Clearing which is a beautiful purpley pink card and it's got a naked angel on there with um, her wings and she's kind of standing in her power and she's confident but she's still closing her eyes so Angel of Clearing your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over the angel of clearing is at work right now clearing your auric field this will pave the way for a time of re renewed clarity focus and purpose in your life over the coming days you will feel the effects of this clearing as all areas of your life are brought into balance and harmony give thanks to your angel 
for this gift and know that you deserve all the blessings coming your way know that also that the period of doubt frustration and confusion you have experienced in recent months was a necessary part of your growth it is in its and in its own way also a blessing just as the nature as her changing seasons so too does your life which is governed by the same laws and moves in constant cycles in accordance with the divine will of the great creator life constantly carries us within its ebb and flow towards the horizon across the great ocean of life then back to rest upon the shores of our destiny so the upheave again with the ascension and going through the tor turmoils and going through the ups and downs and um, feeling out of whack and then feeling on top of the world and then being pushed back down again it's like being on the, on, on the ocean in the open sea and just like up and down and as the as the current goes um, so it's all part of the big plan and um, I think I personally I'm getting here as well is that the angels are gonna and whoever it is that you believe in whatever energy source you believe in is gonna they're gonna download information you're gonna um, you know be the weekend's gonna be woo and then you're gonna you know go through that clearing which might be a bit depleting and but at the same time you'll be given the information and you just have to try and not focus too hard on it but look for the signs uh, and and take note of it and take hold of it and then the future card for Wednesday and Thursday is the God of Conflict Resolution. And he's a handsome chappy and he's got blue eyes and he's got a star in the middle of his chest. And the feeling I get from him is that he's contemplating but he's also going through a deep healing. And his third eye is glowing and it's all coming good for him. So, by drawing this card, you are being encouraged to walk away from a current situation which is causing conflict in your life. Understand that walking away from the situation is not a sign of weakness, but rather a sign of strength. There is nothing to prove or gain by fighting in this instance. The universe has placed this conflict in your way in order to guide you to your true path. Bless all concerned and let go by detaching from this situation new possibilities and opportunities open up for you so it's letting go of something that's been in conflict around you but with all the healing and clearing and uh, ascending going on and all of the the um, angels that are working with us and other energies that are working with us to bring in the um, the clarity and it was natural that there will be things where you just have to let go in the end um, because you're pulling in different directions and do what you need to do and now again I've pulled another card from um, Mary Jack's A Pocket Full of Angels and that's welcoming new encounters each and every person who enters your life is totally unique you're being counseled that you should not let any past hurt or disillusionment cloud your judgment or interfere with your potential future relationships you will instinctively know if someone is right to be part of your life whether as a partner or friend so please look for the good in everyone and take each person at face value and just enjoy getting to know them so it's surrendering and releasing um, and then all that healing and clearing going on which as I said I believe will go on until um, November time just in time for December to come along um, and it's letting go of fears and releasing and then when all that clearing is, is done and you've decluttered your life and surrendered and released old friendships and, and emotions attached to those you will be given new people in your life obviously some of a lot of this stuff is going to come in a lot sooner than the six months because it was a week spread but um, in general that theme will continue because you don't just have a, a friendship or a relationship with one person there's many different kinds of friendships and, and relationships that you have working relationships colleagues you have doctors and 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 all kinds of people associates that you know um family and friends and, and, and distant relatives all that kind of stuff so all of that's going to go through a um a dry a quick wash a dry clean um and then you'll be given then you'll be left with what has been cleaned and the rest will be be going on their own path because everybody's got their own path 
and unfortunately in life sometimes that doesn't mean we go together I hope that makes sense to you all so now we're 20 minutes into angel wisdom news and the angels are saying that you need to start getting into writing your emotions down and surrendering them that way that way you acknowledge and you understand what's going on and they're also saying when you write it down and you acknowledge what's going on you then enter a deal with yourself that you are ready to let that go and as soon as you burn that piece of paper it's let go and then there'll be a, a couple of days of maybe a couple of days you might even feel the instant release um but there might be some was that is that what i really wanted and or is this how i really feel and then it's kind of like gone and it's fine and accepted and the negative emotion that was attached to that will no longer be attached to that and you will look back on those situations and feel much better about it okay yeah um so crystals are, are really important at the moment for me i feel and, and maybe to you people who've been guided to listen feel that too archangel azriel again is coming in just to say you know if you're grieving or struggling with grief or you know that somebody that you care about is about to depart to talk to him he's there to help with grief and even children who are grieving if you're suffering suffering um, from a loss of a child to talk to archangel azriel and he will come to your sides and he will work with you and through you to help you deal with it the best way uh, possible but always ask god or the angels whoever it is that you believe in to bring you to the people that can help you that resonate with you at the time that you need it and how you need it um, you might not know how you need it but you will be given the the information or the people um in ways that that uh, are affable to you um so fairies i've been talking to the fairies a lot today it's probably because i've been talking to rebecca from um rebecca's intuitive reading um and even telling my neighbor when he was um mowing the lawn that he better be kind to the fairies and the um <laughs> elementals because they're watching him <laughs> and he thought that was quite funny um and even I, I remembered that when I was saying that to him as well that to to just give thanks sometimes when you're walking past the trees and stuff and if they're beautiful just give some thanks or even if you're about to step on some grass and, and you think this you know thank you for, for letting me step on you just giving tiny little bursts of gratitude because gratitude is phenomenally important to your everyday life even the, the tiniest things that you think that you that you wouldn't even think that you should be thankful for because you take them for granted there are going to be lessons that will show you that wrong you need to give thanks you need to appreciate that you were given this opportunity or whatever it is that that, that you need to be thankful for um so in the next six months there's all kinds of lessons coming in and the ascension is going to speed up and by the end of the year those who um have been majorly involved in this ascension process their their lives are going to change for the better forever and the whole attitude and, and way of dealing with life is going to be completely different and people are not going to recognize um, what's happening or what's going on they're like are you the same person what happened to you uh, but because you're already on the spiritual path and you're ready it will be uh, just fine Just trying to fi figure out if the angels got anything else to say for the week ahead, and um, they're saying that it's just a time of clearing out old emotions, and that's all you need to know for this week. Um, I hope that was okay for you, and I hope you have a beautiful week ahead. And take care of yourselves. Lots of love, Fiona. Until next week. Bye bye.